Vegan diet pros and cons make an informed diet decision. There are vegan diet pros and cons you must consider before you start. The difference you need to understand between veganism and being a vegetarian is that vegetarians can eat other animal by-products, they just don't eat meat. A vegan won't eat any animal by-products at all. That means no meat, no dairy, nothing. It's an extreme lifestyle choices and it does have many advantages. If you can be dedicated you can get a lot of benefit from this type of diet. Some people choose to become a vegan for environmental reason, raising beef, for example, takes a lot of resources. Lots of land, water and food for the animals. Others don't believe that animals should be mistreated on their way to becoming food, so they stop eating any animal by-products. And still others convert to veganism for a healthier lifestyle. Whatever your reasons are, you should only do it if you've made an informed decision and you fully understand the vegan diet pros and cons. Pros 1. Most meats and animal by-products have a lot of fat and cholesterol. If you are suffering from many diseases such as heart disease or diabetes, eating a meal with less fat and cholesterol may be able to help you lower your cholesterol levels. Of course, everyone is different, you need to talk to your doctor first. This is especially true if you already suffer from some health issues. Never change your diet until you speak with your doctor. 2. You can help the planet and the creatures in it by not promoting cruel treatment of animals. There are some that say that one person can't make a difference, but there are others who say that it all starts with just one. If you feel strongly about this, do it your way. 3. The fewer people that eat meat and animals, the fewer that will need to be raised for food and that will lessen the impact on the planet. Cons. 1. The biggest potential con is that you must make sure you add plenty of zinc, protein and vitamin B12 to your diet form other forms. If you aren't eating any meat, which is a big source of protein, you need to add soy products and other non-animal products that are high in protein such as legumes. While this isn't an insurmountable obstacle, it is important to be aware of the fact that you may need to take a supplement or add other types of food to your diet to balance out what you are no longer getting in your diet. As with all things there are vegan diet pros and cons. It's more of a lifestyle change and it will be up to you to decide if it works best for you. There may be some drawbacks, but they can be overcome if that's what you want to do. Again, make sure you talk to your doctor before you do anything drastic so you know it's okay for you to do. Thank you for watching.